Hello and welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and we've got a bike profile of a Ritchie Outback going out today. Got to box it up and ship it. So I thought I'd take a quick video of the build. Now uh, this gentleman and I worked together to spec out a few of the things that he wanted and then a couple of things that he wanted my advice about so let's start with the basic stuff it's a GRX group set one by and a um, and a head Emporia gravel aluminum wheel set so all right so that's the headline uh, by the way this saddle is mine I just needed something on there so I could test ride the bike but um, he is going to spec his own saddle. Uh, it's a specialized saddle, which I don't sell specialized at my store. I can't actually. All right, so let's start off with the shifters. They are GRX, and this is the 12 speed drivetrain. So it's a one by 12. We've got a whiskey bar. Now we talked about different shapes of bars and in this case we went with a basically a pretty standard bar it only has about a six degree flare I like whiskey handlebars they offer a very very good value for carbon bars and um, you know this gentleman is not going to be racing this bike he's just going to be riding it so we didn't need anything um, what's the word I'm looking for um, robust in case he crashes during a gravel race and and, uh, and then he's done then we also got one of these ee silk uh suspension stems and i'm going to try to do this it's hard to do with one hand but i'm going to try yeah you could you can see that that moves and that's just one handed if i had both hands on there you could see this deflect quite a bit more and there's the the elastomer underneath there that um, you can change and then you have a dial here for soft and firm now sometimes I'm not a huge fan of you know additional moving parts and complications but in this case if it gives the rider a little bit more comfort I'm all for it okay so that's that's the stem and then if we work our way down here, we have uh, CL rotors in 160. Now I put a, an adapter in the rear so that we could have 160 front and rear. Um, you know, a larger, contrary to popular belief, larger rotors don't give you uh, increased power, but what they do is because there's more surface area, they, they they dissipate heat a little bit better. So the larger the rotor, the more dissipation you get of heat and by <laughs> cause and effect, then you get a little bit better braking because your rotor's not overheating. Rotors do overheat, that is a thing. I've done it on my tandem and uh, it's a pretty scary thing by the way. So we have our um, RX820, let me see, oh, that's a better angle the 820 front and rear brake calipers and then this is a really nice touch here notice how it gives you the through axle size and then the pitch so oftentimes it's a really uh it's a guessing game unless the through axle itself is stamped on there some of them aren't so it's really nice to just look at the bike and there is the uh the pitch for the through axle okay i know some of you like to have the valve stem at six o'clock and generally i mean i guess for photos it's fine but i like it up here because i can see the brand of the tire so we we went with a 40 so this is a 700 by 40 and the wheels and these tires were profiled uh, on a previous video and uh, unboxing if you will so the gentleman wanted a smooth or file tread in the center with some locking 
lugs on the sides and this WTB byway is pretty much the perfect description of the tire he was asking for. So that's what we're going with. Now it's a 40, so you can see that there's a ton of room here to go 48 or maybe even bigger. And then you can also put 650 on this frame if you wanted to. You can put a 650 wheel size and then you'd have a lot more tire as well, okay? Now we work our way back and we have just one cable for the rear derailleur. Now on my personal bike, my personal Outback, I have a two by. And one of the things I just can't get past is um, how they routed the cable for the front derailleur. It, it ends up um, hitting this uh, third set of uh, bottle cage bolts. So anyway, that's an issue that um, <coughs> I, just, I just wish there was better cable routing for it. And then we have the cable guide underneath here uh, in case you run a two by. Sorry if that's not focused. But I, I will leave that on for shipping purposes just because it's probably the safest place for it. Uh, if I take it out and put it in a box somewhere, it might get lost or might get damaged in shipping. So we'll just leave that on there and the customer can remove that because obviously he is not running um, a two by system. So we're running the uh, rear derail cable, two cable stops here, and then we're running it down the length of the chain stay, I'm sorry, seat stay, and down into the rear derailleur, okay? We have a 12-speed chain, of course. We have the GRX um, SGS, so we have the, the larger one. And then we have a 1050 cassette back here so all good good stuff all compatible with itself because it's all part of the uh, GRX ecosystem uh, we have a 42 up front if you do a lot of climbing it probably makes more sense to have a 40 and then we went with a 170 crank even though the gentleman is uh, like 510 5'9 I think we're about the same height um, so Basically, we went with the 170 crank arm um, right there. And some XT pedals. So we're also talking about some uh, Favero Asioma, well, they're not Asioma, I guess. Well, whatever the mountain bike ones are called, the XP Pro or something like that. Um, so the mountain bike pedal, uh, power meter pedals from Favero because they have a very, very good reputation on the road. I've had them at least five years with an enormous amount of miles on them. And they are very, very reliable. Okay, let's move on up to the seat post. So a lot of folks uh, recognize this seat post from like, let's say a canyon. Uh, it's an ergon seat post. And these two carbon pieces um, are separate and they uh, if you, you keep lube inside there they slide against each other and gives you additional um, I guess you'd call it some type of suspension so you'll have your stem up front giving you a little bit and then you'll have this in the back as well now I have this on my Richie breakaways Jess and I both have them uh, at some point, I'll probably take them off my breakaway and put it on our Outbacks, but we'd have to do a lot more graveling to make that make sense, or a lot more traveling <laughs> to leave it with the breakaway. But um, And then, of course, the this is an older version SQ Lab 612 saddle. This is before the ErgoWave series came out, so they had a smaller uh, depression than they do now. Uh, but I rode this saddle for years and did lots of double centuries and 500 milers on it before the new one came out. So yeah, that's that's it in a nutshell. Uh, and I think I've explained why we chose the components that we did. So that is the Richie Outback 
in a, oh, some folks ask this often. This is a, a large, so um, that's what we chose for this gentleman, a large. When we measured, uh, when we did the analysis of the stack reach, in particular, the reach to his uh, Colnago, this was spot on um, and just a little bit taller. So I had, I had the same reach and just a little bit taller with a 100 stem. And I believe he rides a 110 stem on his road bike. So it was just about perfect. And uh, we hope that in, that was in theory. So we hope that in practice, unfortunately, the gentleman is not here. He's not been able to uh, get in my fitting stand and me make the uh, appropriate adjustments for him. But um, hopefully he has a good local bike shop, a good LBS that'll take care of him. And, uh, and then, you know, hopefully uh, a different set of wheels. Maybe it's just something for the road. Um, I've got my Outback currently with some road tires on it. I still need to do uh, a ride on that with road tires. I've only ridden it with, uh, with 48s, uh, slick and knobby. I've never ridden it with road tires. And they're on there now. I just need to get out and ride it. Okay, that is all for today. If you have any questions or if you like these bike profiles, just make a comment down below. Please like and subscribe, share my videos, and in the meantime, we'll see you up the road.